All right, unit two, last learning target, learning target nine, construct a linear equation given two coordinate pairs. All right, so when we were graphing or creating equations from a graph, I talk about two nice points, all right? And that's exactly what this learning target is talking about. When you have those two nice points, you don't necessarily have them on a graph, but when you have them, you know what they are, you can make a full linear equation um, from those two nice points. We're going to make this equation in slope-intercept form, so in the form y equals mx plus b. Given the two points that you have, x1, y1, x2, y2, we're going to do everything that we've been doing. We're going to look at the change in y over the change in x, the rise over the run. Um, we're just going to do that using this formula now, okay? So if we have two points here, first thing I want to do <coughs> is label them this is my x1, y1, this is my first point, this is my x2, y2, all right? Most of the time, we use the points as they come in a graph or as they come uh, just like because um, this one's going to be in, but it doesn't really matter, okay? Um, and then we just plug them in. We plug these points into our situation here, or our equation here. So I'm going to take y2, which my t y2 is 5 minus my y1, which is 3. So if I look here, my y2 is 5, my y2, my y2, that goes there. My, y, my y1 is 3, so that goes here, okay? And then I'm going to take my x2 over my x1, so that's going to be a negative 2 minus x1 is 1, and so again here, my x1, 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 and my y1, or my x2, x2, x2. So it's the second point minus the first point, basically, is what I'm getting at there with the color coding. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is going to give me a negative 3. Now, best math practice, if I have a negative in a fraction, move it up, okay? So my slope is going to be negative 2 thirds. The only reason I move that up to the top is that because that tells me I'm going to go down 2 over 3, down 2 over 3. We always run right, so we, that negative we just want on the top. It tells us if we go up or down, okay? So that's my slope, all right? And I'm done with that part of my equation. So, so far my equation looks like this. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus some unknown b, okay? So now to find b, we plug in an x and a y, and... and we just happen to have two pairs that we could plug in. I don't like negative, so I'm going to plug in the positive one. Okay, so I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to plug that in. Okay, I'm going to take that point. So that means that 3, my y was 3, or my y is 3, is going to equal negative 2 thirds times 1. And again here, look guys, I'm just taking this point and I'm plugging it in. So I'm taking this point and I'm plugging it in, here's my 1, here's my 3, my x and my y, and I'm just going to solve, because now we have b. We don't know what b is. Well, 3 is going to equal negative 2 thirds times 1 is just going to be negative 2 thirds. And we can either say, now what plus 2 thirds is going to equal 3, or I can add 2 thirds to both sides, add 2 thirds to both sides, and 3 plus 2 thirds is going to be either 3 and 2 thirds, if you want to write it like that. Or um, you can write it as 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 thirds. It's going to be 11 thirds um, would be B. So my final equation, and I'll write it down here. I'll try to make it a little bigger. Um, I'll just write it. My final equation is going to be y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 11 thirds. And that one didn't turn out super nice, but it works. Okay. One thing that you don't have to write down, but I do want to um, just address, is the fact that I could have plugged in this point too. Okay. So let's do that quick. Let's plug in... Um, negative 2, 5 instead of 2 thirds. All right, and let's make sure that we get the right answer, or the same answer. So instead of plugging in this one, I'm going to plug in this one. So that's going to mean that 
5 will equal negative 2 thirds times negative 2 plus b. So that means 5 is going to equal negative 2 times 2 thirds times negative 2 is going to be a positive 4 thirds uh, plus b. So that means to get rid of this, I'm going to have to minus um, 4 thirds from both sides. And four th 5 um, in thirds would be 15 thirds. So I'd have 15 thirds minus 4 thirds equals, again, 11 thirds. So 11 thirds equals b. Again, we'll have y equals uh, negative 2 thirds x plus 11 thirds. All right. Let's look at some more examples. Let's look at some special cases, all right? Right now, why do you think this is a special case? Well, it's going to end up being because there's a 0 here in the x, but we're going to look at it just the same as we would. So x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to set up my equation. I'm going to take y2 minus y1, so 1 minus 7, and then x2 minus y1, x1. 0 minus 2, that's going to be negative 6 over negative 2, which is going to be a po negative over negative is positive. Positive 3 equals my slope. Okay, Now, so my slope is y equals 3x plus b. The fun thing here, and what, this is why this is a special case, is that if I were to plug in a point um, and, and try to find my y-intercept, what would I get? Some of you already know it because you can see it. Well, what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the y-value when x is 0. We just happen to have one of our points say what when x is 0, y is 1. So we this one's kind of easy. y equals 3x plus 1 because we have our y-intercept given to us. So this would be our y-intercept on the graph. Okay. So let's look at this one. Let's look at uh, x1, y1 x2, y2, we have 12 minus 8, and 3 minus 3. So 12 minus 8, that's going to be a difference of 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. Uh, what's 4 divided by 0? What's 4 divided by 0? What can we do with 4 divided by 0? Is that 0? Is my answer here going to be 0? Infinity. Why would my calculator say infinity? Your calculator might say undefined. But what, what is happening here is if we look at these two points, this is 3, 8, and then on top of that, it's 3, 12. This is a vertical line. What do we know about vertical lines? What does slope dude say about vertical lines? This is an undefined slope. We, we don't have a definition of slope here. Okay? We can still write an equation. Uh, what's the equation for this line? where x is always 3. Well, it's just x is 3. Okay. And then finally, another special case here. We're going to have x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have 10 minus 10 and 9 minus 4. So that's 0. We have a 0 again over 5. But this time, what's 0 divided by 5? We can, we can divide 0 into 5 point, point parts. That's just going to be 0 in each of them, right? So that's 0. So that's our slope. So y equals 0. Okay. 0x zero plus what? Well, I mean, what does this look like? On a graph here, this is 4, 10, and 9, 10. So what this is going to be is just the opposite. It's a line where y just equals 10 y always equals 10. So the slope is 0, um, so that's a horizontal line where y equals 10. x equals 3, slope is undefined, y equals a line, um, the slope is 0. Okay, And we've seen that slope dude says that this is 0 fun, right, as he's going across um, that part of the slope. Alright, so before class, find the equation of a line that passes through your points 2, 6, and negative 2, 4. All right, that is what you need to do for class.